presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Become a white magician. Check this card out, folks. This is probably wild. All the magic you possess is based on your word. You can cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone from that spell. I don't get this one, but it's pretty cool. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 71, Nasdaq's up 49, S&Ps are off two. Gold, gold contract up $7.70, trading at 2,031 an ounce. We have silver up four cents, $25.66 an ounce. Light sweet crew down, to, this is a big one, down three bucks, $68.70 a barrel. Notes and bonds, here we go, man. 10-year note, up eight ticks, trading 115.26. The 30-year up 10 at 131.24. That's higher price, lower yield. And King Dollar, King Dollar's down 502 ticks, trading 101.548. The euro is at 110, the yen is at 135, and the British pound is at 125 to one US dollar. You had the Fed come out, they raised their half a quarter point. Bottom line, that looks like it's gonna be all she wrote, folks, and now it's gonna be all about, <coughs> excuse me, are these companies gonna make money or not? Because, you know, you don't have the volatility in the marketplace, um, and that's, that's how this is gonna shake out right now. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, because coming right up right now, at, right as soon as the show is over, Basil's gonna be doing a workshop for his subscribers, and it's very easy to be a subscriber, folks, just come over to our website on the front page of TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. The opening call, subscriber webinar from 4 o'clock to 530. Uh, you can subscribe. It's only $149 a month. If you go for six months, it's $695, which is $199 savings at 22%. A year is $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, when you sign up, you know, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you, it doesn't matter, month, six months, a year, bottom line, if it doesn't work for your 29 days, folks, guess what? You can get your money back. You can have a great workshop this afternoon. And, you know, it's a trader's market out here in a month's away. Basil Chapman, I'm sure wow. you're locked and loaded, brother. We spoke about this very thing. What will happen? And I spoke to you about So right here, this is my webinar coming up, Sector Stocks and Chapman Wave Techniques to focus on for the coming months. But I've been speaking to you, I think it's maybe, it could almost be four weeks, and I've been saying to you, let me just get this chart, that I use a nine-period moving average and a 14-period moving average kind of as the guide wire, the thing that it's like the little GPS that's kind of guiding you along. And I said the strength of the daily Dow with this nine-period moving average, this little green line here, so high, it seems to me, and I've just used a gray thick line with the closing price of the Dow, so you can't even see the bars. I didn't need that. What I did want to show was the match between back in February. Uh, we've done this so many times before where that nine-period moving average held strongly even when there was a strong dip in the, in the price that we're following, in this case, the Dow. And yet it said, we're not ready to go down yet. It's not a one and done. It's a process. So here we are. I said, this is the left side high that was made. We broke it the other day. And I said, I think that the nine period moving average is going to make an M-shaped formation. That's the pattern that I'll be showing in this webinar coming up, how we can use these patterns to really guide you in a very simple way. All I've got is the nine period over the 14 period. There's nothing else here. This, this is a great chart. And look what happened. We pull back. 
and the price has fallen sharply. The green is still there. And it's just we've seen it already today that the, the market wasn't really just to shoot down. It's a process. So I'd say it's probably about Friday, maybe Thursday, Friday, or maybe even Monday when that nine period finally crosses negative, And then we'll see a deeper pullback. In the meantime, you can see buying keeps coming in. But at this point, I think that the sellers are uh, overwhelming the, the buyers by a little bit, and that should increase. So these are techniques that we find. And remember, based on this technique, uh, we went short for subscribers to my opening call right on the SPY the day after the hide was made based on the techniques that I use. So we've got that stop in place, and we got it uh, before the opening uh, yesterday. So we'll see what happens here. Because, and that's actually the three times short we've got a position in that. So these are the positions we're looking at. I said to subscribers, you don't have to rush to do any buying. There should be some congestion, some digestion. And we'll, there, I've made a whole list of stocks that we're looking at, what we want to add to our positions. It's going to be very exciting. It's a perfect time for this because, as I said, I don't think it's one and done. I think it's a process that we're looking at here. And uh, I'll be going through the different uh, indices like I usually do. Uh, it, I've, I've made time to show the techniques and to show the stocks that we are interested in. And that's what I hope to get to. And, of course, I do my one-hour uh, video for my subscribers every weekend. So we'll include that. But I'll be able to follow up by the action in the next two days to see what, what is the result of what the Fed said. And I think the Fed's been stuck behind the eight ball. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do. You've got, you know, the high, you've got housing sector shooting higher. And you've got uh, the banks very weak. So I, I think they kind of stuck. So we'll, I think this is a really good market, trading market, as you said. Yeah, it's really going to be wild, Basil, that, I mean, you know, we've, we've gone up, you know, the Fed's gone up 500 basis points, this is 5%, right? And now it looks like it's going to be like, okay, it's going to be all about can companies make money or not make money? I mean, because I think we're going to be stuck here for a while, meaning percentage-wise. A great point. And that's going to, this is the way the, 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 the really great companies Produce because they they've been through this before. They know how to whittle down, how to keep making profits. So this is a really good time for the companies that have done very well to maintain their positions. So those are the companies on any pullback. You want to be looking at them because they're the ones that should lead the next rally to the upside. And folks, it's very easy to get into this webinar. Just come over to our website at TFNN, right on the front page. You're going to see featured content. You hit that. You subscribe. You're going to get a great newsletter for a month, six months, a year, whatever you want. You're going to get in a great webinar. And listen, 29 days from then, if it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you, you're going to get your money back and have a great webinar. Well, we look forward to that webinar, folks. And uh, Basil, in uh, 55 minutes, man, you have a great one, safe one. Thank you very much, Tom. Have Thank you. And the battle is on here, folks, okay? And the battle's on the S&Ps right at the 4129. Uh, so we'll see where this baby shakes out. If we uh, take a look at this, let's just see the E-mini here for a second. What's intriguing is that, you know, we've been looking at these rate structures for so long. Now it's going to be, hey, man, you're going to make money or not? Are you going to, the debt seal is going to come in or not? What's going to happen here? Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading down 115. We get the NASDAQ up 24, S&Ps are down 5.5. And, and don't forget, folks, Bowser's going to do an outstanding workshop for you. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right in featured content right in the front page. You can sign up for his newsletter for a month. It's a great newsletter. You're going to get an hour and a half of great education. And on top of that, Basil has 10 other archives out there that you can go through on a continual basis. Now, if you can't make it live right now, it's no big deal because it's archived. You can look at it as many times as you want. And you're going to get a great education. So let's go take a look at it. Well, first off, so let's go look at the bonds because notes and bonds continually want higher price, folks. OK, and now the bottom line is that you're going to I suspect, you know, that rates have topped out. And so. You know, we got 1.2 million contracts today in the 10, decent contract volume. And it, you gotta remember something, the higher that you go, uh, bottom line and uh, price, the lower the rates go. So we're doing today, it's taking a swing point out. The swing point has 1.7 million, you're at 1.2. So we're we are gonna need some more volume inside of the 10. We take a look at the rate structure. The rate structure right now is at three, look at that, 3.3, man. That's 3.3. That's pretty intense, man. I mean, because the high of the last three months is four. So you're off seven tenths of 1%, which, which is a big number. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. And well, first republics, that's, that's the big one. I mean, that's just, that's trading a buck. That's, and that's trading in the over the counter market. Now we have Tesla up two and a half dollars. You got, uh, advanced micro, Oh, look at that. AMD, what the heck happened? That, that fell out of bed. Let's take a look at Advanced Micro. So Advanced Micro, that's down $8. Yeah, slow outlook. Listen, that's a big number, man. Oh, baby, look at that. That is one. Oh, look at this. This is an ABC down. Okay, we got it, baby. This is good. Okay, so if you trade both sides of the market, folks, here we go. This is... This is a big ABC down. Let's see. So you got 90. I gotta get closer to this thing. 90. Uh, 96. Okay, so 96 to 83. 13. Seventy seventy-eight. Well, you're already at 81. 78 is the number. Look at that. There's a gap open there. It's a 75. So that's that's a little that's that's gonna be a problem, man. That's let me put this on a weekly here for a second, see what we have. 
Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Look at this. This is interesting. <laughs> Look at this. amazing, actually. So when it actually bounced, it was only a 0.382 bounce also. Okay, that's... That's a little problem child inside there. Let's go take a look at some of the other higher volume equities. You got uh, Bank of America down 20 cents, no big deal there. Nvidia's off two bucks. Uh, the oil market, let's get over to the oil market because the oil market is something else, man. I mean, this is, you know, I, I know that I'm saying it's going to the lower end of this, but you talk about going there quickly, man. It's like, okay, so let me put this up. Put this up. I'm going to put this on a continuous contract so we can see the next swing area here. Yeah, it's going after it, man. Right now, you're at 68.50. You're breaking the 70. That's a problem, man. So your next, your next leg is... Yeah, 65 bucks. You break 65, boys. So it's going to get really wild here, folks. If we break 65, your next area down there is at 41. And it definitely can do it. I mean, you know, guess what? Uh, you know, commodities are commodities. And the reason that they're commodities is that, you know, it's all about supply and demand, period. And I suspect that you have a couple different things end up happening in the aspect of the supply and demand, meaning, you know, oil is just like a, in a big bathtub, folks. You, know, you put the... You know, a pipe in, that just keeps coming, coming, coming out. Well, guess what? You know, the big producers, I'm sure, are saying, oh, no, we're going back to that level. And, you know, they're only supposed to produce so much, you know, with the OPEC deal and all of that. But the bottom line, they're, they're pushing it out. They're pushing it as much out as they can get pushed out. That's what I suspect they're doing. We go take a look at, see, this S&P is jumping around like crazy, man. This is pretty wild. Let's take a look at it. So what it's doing, it's going in fits trying to get higher but what happens is that as soon as it gets a little higher they sell it off again in a big way too you can see what just happened here we just got to 41.15 and we're at 4127 right now okay you know so we'll see we'll give this another couple more minutes but i suspect what's going to happen is they're going to jam it again that's that's been happening on the last four bars that's what's going on you know gives hope that it's going to come back jams it back down again we'll see how this happens and most of the time when that happens you know what you have let me let me go to the nqs and see what the nqs look like for a second so the nqs same type of setup they're flat now they got down to 127 <laughs> look at this oh my god they're at 182 right now and minute wise you're four minutes into it um so at four minutes into it Mm, they, you, it really, they, you, well, let's hear. I can, no, I can, I can see what type of volumes here. Let's see. We got 11,000 contracts. 26 was the last. We'll see where this 10-minute uh, 10 bar, 10 bar ends. That's the bottom line, you know. And as we get closer, I do expect that what you're going to actually see is you're going to see more bottom line volatility um, continue to stay in this market. That's how, that's just, that's how markets run, you know, particularly as soon as the news conference is over, folks. That's how this normally shakes out. So the, the conference in general, what Powell and the Fed are saying is that, hey, listen, we don't know exactly what we're going to do in the future. Um, right now, the, I believe the Fed fund, here it is, we are at five to five and a quarter now the ironic part about this is five to five and a quarter you know if you go back on the first when they said that they were going to go up on rates that is the rate structure that they wanted five to five and a quarter and we're here you know some of the questions that were asked after the um, statement came out uh, was the aspect of with the banks now tightening up you know do they do they feel that that had something to do with slowing things down. And, you know, he said that, hey, listen, he thinks it's good for a quarter point, you know, but they don't know. That's, that's the, real, the, the, the real key here, folks, is that um, I suspect that they went up so fast that Powell is saying that the nominal rate of the interest rates right now is 2%. And what that means 
is that he thinks inflation's running by three, he's at five, he subtract three from five, real rates are at two. You will see if that's the case. My personal take is that, no, we're, we're higher than that, meaning that things are going up faster than 2%. But, you know, they're going to play that down anyway. That's, 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 that's just the essence of what they do. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now, buck 30. Nasdaq's down 22. S&P's seven, down 7. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 233. The Nasdaq's off 28. S&P's are off 21. Let's go to Bob in uh, South Carolina. Hey, Bob, what's going on, brother? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing terrific great, man. Day. Yourself? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Every day is a terrific day. That's a you beautiful have a thing. Positive attitude, Tom. I like it. So, what are we going to look at today? Uh, PRTA, Profina Corporation. Okay, so let's take a look. You got a Partina Corporation. The lows 21, the high 68. That's a high for the year today. It's a biotech company. They're just starting to, well, yeah, they're still they're going to lose money for a while. So they're still in the. 
And the expert, wow. Okay. <laughs> so do you own this? <laughs> yes. Well, uh, they have an Alzheimer's drug that's supposedly superior to Lilly. And uh, they haven't got much publicity. And I was just wondering uh, where this could go. That's all. You know. Okay, so let's see. You got 1.8 million. You're going into 3.3 million. That's at 66. Well, you're gonna need you need more volume here, even though this is a, this is a good day. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about it. So, you know, I mean, you know how these go. These are highly volatile, and I suspect what probably happened there was a there was another company out here today that had a successful test on immunotherapy, I believe. Scavenging novel antibodies, the treatment of broad range that involves protein misfolding and cell adhesion. I don't know if that's moving in the context of that company or not, uh, Bob. You know, but you know, I mean, I'm sure you stayed there for a while, so there's no reason not to not to not stay here because you you very well. The next swing point up here is at seventy nine dollars. And you got enough shot positions out there. The shot positions are eight point five percent, so that's enough to you know get some juice going. Yeah. So in other words, stick with it for a while. I would. I would. Yeah. I mean, you know how these go. I mean, you, the, now the top of the range. This is what you got to. Be, but you know, the top of this range is that seventy six area. So when you get to that area, if you know, if I'm my speculation is correct, that's when you really got to be careful, man. Because the trading range on this is seventy six down to twelve bucks. <laughs> so Yeah. I, I always take uh, my initial investment off the table and play with the house's money. Oh, that's huge, man. That's huge. You, you get action, yeah. man. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Pretty intense waking up like this, huh? Well, you know, every day, you never know when lightning's gonna strike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's such a screwy it, I've never seen volatility like this in the market. And I've been in it for a long time, so I mean, well, it's 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 in, it's insane what's going on right now. So, but volatility's a trader's best a friend, brother. All the <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. Yeah, this this market wants lower price, folks. Okay, so the, what, what's so cool now, folks? Okay, is that the, the what's going to be on the table now in the market is the debt structure and companies making money. That's where we're at right now. You know, you look at this S&P, you know, and this is, you know, the, the, the bears lost, the bulls lost the battle. You can see, you know, that was going on 10, 20 minutes, but I've seen this before, meaning that, you know, you get the pop up, you come down a little, you get the pop up, you come down a little, and they just couldn't hold it. So, you know, we'll see the low that it's going after right now, the, the S&P, we're at 41, it's 4105. You're only six points away from it. But the 4105, we hit 4108. That's going to be low that was generated yesterday. Uh, the last 10 minute bar still had volume on it. We go into the NQs, we look at the NQs. Oh, now see, this is a good heads up. The NQs broke it with volume. That means we're going lower. See, this is what you always want to do, folks. If you go back, if you're trading the S&Ps or the NQs, I always check both of them because this is a heads up, man. The NQs, they're down 62, but the low of yesterday was that 11,000, uh, 110. No. Yeah, 110. And we went to, no, 13,110. And we went to 13,098. And let's see how many minutes. You're, like, you're five minutes into it. You know, you got light volume right now, so maybe that's going to be the test. But that's always a heads up inside of the um, market in general. If one breaks and then the other doesn't break. Now, the S&P, let's go back to the S&P for a second. Because all these personalities, man, it's such a trip. So we go back there for a second. You can see it, ha it hasn't hit it yet. What time is it? Three, it's 3.20, yeah, it's pl plenty of time left, man. Yeah, there's plenty of time left. That's gonna go after it. 
You know, we, we haven't hit it yet. Yeah. And you, you, what we have done, so check it out. What we have done is that you, you went to the 4108 and then you popped eight points. <laughs> no, 10 points, like nothing. No, eight points, yeah. Um, but keep in mind that that's how that battle normally takes place because what we have now is that you can actually look all day long, um, you know, we haven't had a, a large spread, but it's been large enough that we're under all the prices that were generated all day long coming up to the Fed. Because the reality is, is that we really haven't had that much volatility in the market after the Fed until they actually stopped speaking. And then it's like, okay, I'm gonna try to take it lower. Let's see what we can do here. And we'll see how they shake it out. Let's go to the gold contract because now what's going to, what you, I suspect we're going to see is that now if they're going to lay off on interest rate structure and we still have inflation, this is when gold can shine like beyond belief, folks. Okay. And this is, you know, I was saying this last couple months, this is, this is where we can absolutely get the leg up in the market. Absolutely. Okay. Because they're taking the, the, foot off the gas. Right now, you can see this volume. Yesterday, we had volume in the gold contract of 246,000. Today, you're 205,000. That's pushing highs and pushing highs with volume. The high only has uh, 178,000 contracts. If we go into the silver market and we take a look at silver, silver right now, 46,000. Silver's gonna need a little bit more. But you gotta remember something, what we do have in the silver market is that we have that high volume spike from three days ago that has volume. So silver also wants to get up into those levels. We got a trader's market, don't forget, we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, he's gonna be doing that workshop in another 20, 30 minutes. It's not too late to get into it, folks. You get over to our website and check it out. Dow, Dow, yeah, let's see this, winners and the losers inside the Dow. The Dow the, what was intriguing here, the Dow was the first one to sell off, folks. So let's see what we have out here. Ryan, well, we'll do that as soon as we come back. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow's off 266, Nasdaq's off 52, S&Ps are off 28. And check it out, folks, okay? I'm bringing you over to the Nasdaq. So you can, there's one line here that you can see we got into the lows of yesterday and we're still below it inside the NASDAQ. That's saying that for the next 15 minutes, you're gonna sell off in the S&P. Because you're, further, you're far enough below, <clears throat> excuse me, inside of the NASDAQ. Put this up. Now the S&P hasn't even hit it yet. See that? We haven't even hit it yet. But my probability Structure is telling me that it's going to because of the fact the way that the NQs go back to the NQs for a second. Right now it's above it just a bit. We do have a contraction of volume down there though. Look at that. Well, yeah, you know what? You probably will get it. You'll, you'll get a bounce coming in. We're gonna bounce right now. Yeah, you're gonna bounce. Cause look at this, we're gonna bounce. So if you're, if you're shot, be prepared right now, folks. Because see, what happens is this, the trading vehicle right now, realistically, was only about an hour and a half to trade both sides of this market. But you see this contraction of volume right here? We've tested the low, the NASDAQ up below it. You can see the contraction, the contraction is there. You'll bounce a bit. I wouldn't go long, but if you're shot, I'd tighten it up because it looks to me like that is gonna basically do some kind of a small bounce, and that's it. And then get ready for the rest of the week <laughs> because we have a down market, man. It's back to a down market. So you see this, the, the S&P hasn't made it to the lows yet. So let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the Dow Industrials and see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Okay, point wise here, the only, you got uh, Caterpillar is uh, putting seven positive points. You got Intel putting six, Merck's putting two. Taken away from it. You got Amgen minus 42, Goldman minus 28, United Health minus 26, Chevron minus 19. Nothing, nothing heavy out there. There's nothing really heavy. Uh, if we do take a look at the XLE uh, bottom line, I'm sure that. You know, with the way oil's going south in a monster way, it's going to be a problem out here. Yeah, that's on its way. That's down another buck forty-eight. That's on its way down to the a seventy-five area. Right now, you're at seventy-nine, and we go to Exxon Mobil, the two largest waiting structures out here. So that's down two bucks. It's pretty amazing that this equity went from in four days a hundred and look at a hundred and 19 to 108. Um, and that's, the, these, these oil companies, folks, what they love to do is they trade in monster consolidations, man. And so the cool thing is, I mean, if you like the oils, you know, I suspect this will get down to the low end of the consolidation, you know, but keep your eye on it because you're only 10 points away from it. I know it sounds like a lot, but four days ago, this was 10 points higher. And you can see, 
you know, bottom line, it couldn't, it couldn't handle it. You know, if I take a look at this on a weekly, it was going at 138 million and you had 88 million. It's not enough, it's just not enough. We go look at uh, CVX, do the same exercise on CVX out here. That's even weaker, you know, and that's sticking out like a sore thumb. Let me pull this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, that's 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 a defined downtrend. Well, no, it's a defined consolidation. That's what it is. So it's going to get interesting because the fact of the matter is now the interest rate structure is in place. You know, it's going to be all about numbers. And I believe, let's see, which is today's the second, right? So the fourth is going to be fireworks. We got Apple coming out in the fourth, right? Um, I'm going to go back over the E-mini e e again because it's going after the lows again. Let's see this thing. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. you got to love this market, man. Okay, so here we go. Put this up. E-mini hasn't hit it yet. Lows 107. You can see that contraction. Look at that. So 30, oh, well, we're on the third 10-minute bar. We did 63,000, two bars away. Last bar, we did 49,000. Right now, we are at seven minutes into it, and you're at 34. So you got, what was this one over here? That was 54. Hey, I still think that thing's going to do a little bounce. That's the bottom line. But guess what? This is going to be a phenomenal market for quite a while now, folks. Because, see, time-wise, most of the time going into the summer, you really don't have a big trader's market, meaning the volatility. But we will have volatility because if you were around in 2011, we had volatility beyond belief because of the debt ceiling. Now, the closer that we get, these politicians are going to play chicken in a monster way with our, with our, our services, our, our debt services, okay? And the only thing that shakes them out of it is when the market basically goes down like a thousand points. Then they all get shaken out of it because what ends up happening, their constituents are calling them because their IRAs just blew up beyond belief. And then, then it gets done the next day. I mean, that's, that's, that's how this laid out the last time, folks. If you're around 2011, trade in 2011, um, the bottom line is that what ended up happening is that first you had Standard & Poor's bring down the rate structure of the U.S. bond market, which cost us a fortune for the next three or four years after that. And then it took, actually, it took, it took almost two weeks after that happened in order for them to basically throw, throw it up, throw it up politically. Oh, okay, yeah, now we got to do it, you know. The thing that's amazing to me is that, you know, listen, I, I like the structure of our country. There's no doubt about that. What I don't like is that you have 435 people that can control all of us. <laughs> you know, well, 435 in the House of Representatives and what, 104 in the Senate? That's what blows my mind sometimes because it's like, are you kidding me? And then when you hear them ask questions in these hearings, you know, you can see that they're in fantasy land. There's no doubt about that. I mean, you know, it's, it's there. It's, they're, they're in a whole different world, all of them, too, not, not just some of them. They're, you know, whether, yeah, anyway, you get the gist of it. So, but what that does, that is to telling me from here right up until June, July, we're going to have volatility, and then, you know, we'll see what ends up happening at, after that particular point, you know. Um, it, yeah, it's going to be interesting. You know, I, I, was, I was just going to say, I, I don't think that we're going to default, but you know what? Um, Probability-wise, as my son Tommy says, and you know, he's played so many, well, probably millions of hands of poker and trading, okay? Um, but I say that millions of hands of poker is a better indication um, probability-wise, and that's what's so great about being in the market. Um, is that the probability is more than zero. <laughs> and that's, that's a problem. 
That's a picking a problem when you're talking about trillions of dollars in the marketplace. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. The S&Ps are off 29 and we're at the lows of the day. Uh, and if we take a look at the volume, let's see what we're going to do out here. We're at uh, 600 million versus one point something billion yesterday. And the NASDAQ is at 5.2. So the NASDAQ's going to have the volume. Inside the SPY, <clears throat> yeah, you're going to have the volume there too. This is going after the next swing point then. It's game. You got to fit. So, all in all, you get a failure at the highs, which was generated out here on Monday. Now the game is, and you can see, this is a well-defined consolidation that we're actually in, folks, okay? And this, the cool thing is, is that the consolidation is so big. I mean, this is a huge consolidation. You know, you can make the case, I can make the case that, you know, that you're at 407, well, three, yeah, 380 is you get that, your next swing point. You know, well, your next swing point is only about five points down, but that swing point of 380 does have volume. So my take is that that's where it wants to go. We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues. And now the queues have to first get inside the lower range. The queues are not inside the lower range. And that lower range is 311. 
and right now we're at 317, so you're certainly way outside of the lower range. First, you'd have to get into the lower range. You know, I suspect we're going to get there, but we'll, we'll, they, we'll see how this shakes out. And a lot of that is going to have to do with where Apple goes on, uh, and is it, uh, who else is on? Is it, someone else is coming out on a Thursday also. Uh, today, no, was Friday. Friday also. So don't forget about Basil's workshop, folks. You can get into it right here, right now. Just get over to our web, website at TFNN. It's right on the front page. And always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. <laughs>